Hey there everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. As always, I'm Captain Beefy and this is the Game Vault and we're here to look at the new cave that was added with the uh, Ascended upgrade. So let's cue up the music and we'll get right to it. All right, well, first off, this cave is located right here near the Red Obelisk. So if you find the Red Obelisk, you found the cave. Now, this is a bad area. Lots of hard things to, uh, lots of tough creatures here to, to make your day rough. Um, Carnos, Uteranus, Caprasuchus, lots of strange and wonderful creatures that want to eat your face off. And then when you get into the water and get into the cave, there's even more creatures. Now, this cave is not a artifact cave at all. It's just a, a cool little cave to check out. So that's what we're going to do. Show you where we are on the map. Right down here at approximately 7239 roughly. Okay. And if you look down, this is the southern portion of the water where the uh, red ob sits. And we're going to go through here. Now, you got to do some swimming. So I recommend... least some fins. Oh, we're just going to put the whole nine yards on to make it a little bit quicker. And so we don't have to worry about oxygen because it, it's a bit of a hike. You swim in, you find this huge crystal, you swim straight down. You find this second huge crystal, you swim straight down. You may be able to get a creature through there, something small and skinny like a uh, raptor or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. I tried it with a thyla, it did not work. All right, so you head up this way, and then you pop your head out, and bingo, you're on the ground. Now we'll switch back to our regular gear. So, yeah, that's the way in. You see the way out? Pretty simple. It's just going to be a reverse, and we'll do that on the way out. We'll, we'll go through it like normal. All right, so let's hunker down, and we'll continue through here. All right, since I am defenseless, we've gone into creative mode to take a look around here. This is my single-player game. I don't really do anything on here other than make videos and show off some cool stuff. So, But we're going to look around this place and see what it's all about. It's pretty big. It's pretty cool looking. And usually there's a lot of creatures in here. I've seen wolves. I've seen... Um, I think I've seen Sabretooth in here. I've seen... Um, all the bugs, you know, all the underground bugs that you normally see in caves, stuff like that. Maybe we'll get some spawns, maybe we won't. I don't know. But I mean, look at that. So, your entrance is here. And when you're trying to get out of this cave, it's kind of good to remember where this entrance is, okay? So look for these waterfalls here. These waterfalls kind of go around where the entrance is. Maybe we'll jump there. Let's see, you got one coming right out of there. And you got two, three, three waterfalls, right? Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous cave. Look at all the plants in here. There's plants, there's stone. I believe there's other resources as well. I think we've got metal in here and some other stuff too. Maybe we'll take a look around and see what's up. But I mean, it's absolutely huge. Look over here. Come to another area with a cliff, right? More room. You could build a massive base inside of here. And when I say massive, I mean absolutely massive. You're not going to have to worry about wyvern attacks. If you're PvP, this is going to be the spot for PvP tribes. Whoever gets this and secures it first wins the game. I mean, there's really... Yeah. yeah. If there's a choke point to get in. I don't think there's any other ways in, but there's a choke point to get in. And as soon as uh, guys come out of the water, you know, you can have turrets set up and just mow them down. They're not going to be able to have any tames coming through there. You know, not going to be coming through on moses and squids and all that. It's too tight of an area. You're just going to be able to mow them down and tear them apart. I don't, you know, I don't play PvP, so I don't know what I'm talking about on that. But I'm just making an assumption there on, on things you could do. Yeah, check this out, though. I mean, absolute water, water everywhere. Beautiful waterfalls. It's just a great scenic little place. But yeah, don't be fooled. There are creatures in here. So if you do take this cave, you're going to have to you're gonna have to tame it. 
You have to kill some creatures. You're going to have to set up some defenses in here until the cave is absolutely tamed. Because things will attack you. Onik. I'm pretty sure I've seen Arctoplora. Oh, look at this. It's a freaking maze. I mean, it really is. Go through here now. Yeah, first time I came in here, I got lost. I did, and I'm probably lost now, but I, you know, I got my bearings on where we have to go, so at worst case, we look for all those waterfalls and we find them. And I know it wasn't in this chamber, it was in the chamber over there, if I'm not mistaken. Man. What do I see down there? Is that? I see some stuff in the water down there swimming around. One of them looked kind of like a Sarko. It's double waterfall right here. You're not really seeing any metal or crystal, at least not in any abundance. Um, unless this stuff, this looks like crystal maybe. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a pick. So that might be crystal. No, nope, might not. Okay. Yeah, it's not crystal. Okay. Is this crystal? Nope, no crystal there. Are pretty water areas, though. Yeah, a lot of decorative crystal. And oh, wow, we got drops in here. I didn't know this. Alright, so we got ourselves a blue. Is it blue or purple? Nothing fantastic, but hey. Drops a drop, right? If you can't use it, you can grind it. That's always our motto with our tribe. No such thing, well, there is a, such a thing as a bad drop, but most drops have some sort of usefulness to them, whether it just be fodder for the grinder to make more metal or polymer or something like that. It really depends. Yeah, we should have some creatures spawning in now. Is this, yeah, this is all the way down, right? What do we got over there? Okay, that's a saber tooth in the water. And that's a capra. Let's see what else we can find in the water. Any of this crystal? Nope, no hidden water crystal. I did see piranha in here as well. So, you know, don't think it's just uh, a bunch of friendly coelacanth. Now there's some nasty piranha rummaging around in here, so that's something to be concerned about. But yeah, this is it, man. This is it. You could probably explore in here for a long time. And probably not get <laughs> every nook and cranny. At least not in your first visit. Maybe if you got a couple guys together and you know, got a little tribe going. Maybe you could get through it and explore everything and figure it all out, but let me tell you, it's pretty incredible. It makes me want to make a cave in here, but yeah, no, I'm not doing all that. I think that's the exit over here. I was kind of seeing that spot that looks like I jumped across right there. Yep, there it is. So here's the way out, right? Go ahead and we'll put on our scuba again. Just to show you how to get out of here. I might come across some piranha, but that's okay. We'll go down to this big uh, hunk of crystal here. 
kind of go around it. And that's the crystal that points up right there. That's what we want to get to. And we go around it. Got the second hunk up here. Then you can see daylight. Just like that, you're out of the cave. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good looking cave, man. I highly recommend checking it out if you're uh, if you're playing on Scorched Earth. Uh, if it's your first time on Scorched Earth, you won't notice that it's different than before. But if you're a veteran, man, you're gonna be like, "What the hell is this? This is so freaking cool." I think it's cool. I think it's worth a look. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this video useful at all, please leave a like on it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to ring that bell for notifications, as always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.